Excel has a hidden function called dget, which works like xlookup and index match. Let me show you how to use it with this table. First, we want to find Sara's sales. To do this using xlookup, type the equal sign and write xlookup, then the bracket is open. Select Sara as the lookup value, then press a comma. Next, choose the entire name column as the lookup array and press a comma again. Finally, select the sales column as the return array. Close the bracket and press enter. Now you can see Sara's sales displayed. Using the dget function, the process is slightly different. Press the equal sign and type dget, then open the bracket. Select the entire table as the database, press comma, and then select the sales cell. After that, press comma again and select the search name range. Finally, close the bracket and press enter. As you can see, we get the same result, so it's all correct. However, the dget function is dynamic. For instance, I can change the field from sales to product and the result will update automatically. If I change again the field from product to country, the result will update automatically. This is not the case with XLOOKUP, where you would need to manually adjust the formula. In conclusion, dget is simpler to use when you need to get different column data. It is also available in older Office versions. Now, to create a drop-down list for easier work. Select the cell where you want the drop-down list. Then press Alt plus A plus V plus V to open the data validation window. Choose list from the allow drop-down. In the source box, select a range. Press OK, and your drop-down list will be ready. That's it. You've successfully created a drop-down list in Excel for easier work. The link to the practice file is available in the description. Don't forget to like and follow for daily tips and tricks.